Hey, what's that info? Text Burn now one here. It is Saturday. They came out with some new Madden 25 all team cards, and I don't know why they came out with this Derek Thomas. We already have a ghost Derek Thomas. Now we have another 99 overall Derek Thomas. These attributes really aren't that different, but I'll discuss that card later on down the week. But we also got a 99 overall free safety in Ed Reed from the Baltimore Ravens. So not a bad free safety. Had some nice attributes on him. I really don't know the difference between him and his uh, team captain car. My guess he might be a little bit faster. Might have a little bit more hit power based on the other Baltimore Ravens car, which we, which he played for when he was in his prime. Hey, what's that info? Text boy now one here. It is Saturday. We have some new Ultimate Team cards in game right now. We have a 99 overall Baltimore Ravens free safety, Ed Reed, which is going to be very nice. A card in his prime should be very nice to play with. And we also have a Madden 25 all-team legendary collection, collectible, whatever you want to call it, in Derek Thomas. And I have no idea how his attributes look. I know he has 92 speed, which is, I think, one increase from his ghost card. So I really want to see what that card sells for. I'm kind of mad because now my ghost, Derek or Derek Thomas is going to be like 100,000 coins because nobody wants that now that the new flashy card is out. So if you guys want Derek Thomas, pick him up right now while his price is cheap. But I will go over, go ahead and go over those cards in a later video down the line. But today we got some packs to open. I'm not opening legendary packs right now. There's nothing really crazy to open. They, they hinted on Twitter that they said next week they're going to be doing some other stuff. I'll talk about that later on down the line. I do not want to just guess right now i'm gonna pull it up on twitter while i'm talking and seeing what they actually said because it might be interesting but today i'll do a probably a 10 all pro pack opening and three of these collection reward packs if you guys don't know how to get these collection reward packs you guys have to listen i don't understand how many times i say this you have to complete the weekly team collections not that hard i always say that before i open these packs though i always get a message or three or 14 saying how do you get these packs you get them from completing the team collections. They may cost you in, anywhere in between probably 20,000 to 30,000 coins. It might be cheap. You hit a lot of the guys in reserves. So I got three of these. I would have more, but there are like four or five of them. I can't complete right now because prices are super high. So when those prices drop, I'll definitely get on to do those. But for now, we'll do three of these and 10 all pro packs. But Madden said that next Saturday, FYI, all previous legendary challenges and collections are being taken down to make room for some new content. So... And this does not include Elite Man 25 Legends, just Legend content. So if you guys want a Legend with the chemistry or want to do one of the Legendary Collections, I believe, you, I'm pretty sure you're going to have to go and get that stuff done right now and get the collection complete. Otherwise, you're going to get removed from the game, which is kind of weird. I don't think they have to remove them. I think they want to because I don't think that this... They can add as many collections as they want to. Last year, there were so many more collections. But anyway, I'm tired of rambling and talking about this. Again, this is all Pro Pack opening. I'll do three for now, and I'll go ahead and open up my collection reward pack i really do not think i'm gonna pull anything crazy paul fananka not going for much anymore but i really just hopefully i get something worth my time because my packs have not been really anything special lately i've been pulling a bunch of bad stuff on the xbox 36 next gen's been pretty cool can't lie about that next gen my packs have been really really nice pulling a lot of nice cards you guys will see my team sometime shortly i'm still gonna run a budget squad over there i just have to pick up a couple more players but Hopefully, not a bad pack, though. This guy probably going for like 3,000 coins, maybe less than that now. And TJ Lane, not going for much either. It's so hard to find rare silver and gold cards now because nobody cares about any collection anymore. Everybody just cares about the new flashy stuff. So if there's no collection to get that guy's card, or to get a card, nobody, everything's just super cheap, which makes it difficult to make stuff off. I'm here to Madden 25, Larry Fitzgerald. Okay, all right. I don't know what it's going for anymore, but I'll take that pull. That is a really solid pull right there. I did not expect to get anything at all. We get this playoff play recognition Peterson. Oh, I forgot about these. These things are in packs. <laughs> I really forgot about that collection. I need to go ahead and get to it. We got a dang, that's a nice pull right there. It's like probably 50, maybe less than that now. I'm not too sure what his price is. And I can't okay. This pack opening has turned out pretty good so far. We got a card that goes probably about 50k. Then I collect was right around 20 more than likely. So, not a bad start. Hopefully, I can pull some of these rare gold cards I don't have in the collection, even the rare silvers. It's funny. If you guys want to make coins, I think everybody mentions this in all their videos. Just sell the cards that go in the collection. If you can't do them, just sell them. That's the best way you can go ahead and make coins in this game. Because if you don't sell them, you're just going to have them sit in your reserves and just sit on dust. For example, the bronze strong safety for the Jaguars. I think his name is Chris Brzezinski. with the Wyoming, I want to say. I have his uh, bronze card, and he sells like 3,000 coins. Gold agility, okay, that's a generic one right here. 
And I don't know who they're coming out with next week for the Combine Warriors collection. I'm hopefully is hopefully it's not anything that we have seen in the past because Patrick Peterson is a nice card, a nice new face, even though he has another card in this game. But I do not want to see another Vernon Davis or another freaking uh, Chris Johnson. I want to see some new faces, and that's all I really want this year. But I don't know if I'm able to get that. So I don't even want to open this pack right now. I got something great already. I'm scared to open this pack already. All right. Jarrell Casey, 92 overall. Uh, it's not a bad card. Nice budget card if, if you guys need a budget player. He has good good block shed, good tackle, pretty nice pretty nice strength. The power move is kind of suspect, though. So uh, no, I might just go ahead and keep that guy's card. I might get away later on down the line, but let's keep going. Three more packs to go for another one of these reward packs. Hopefully we get some more great stuff. That <laughs> If that was a Julius Peppers, I would have been very nice. Peppers is going for a lot. Charles Clay, finally I got this guy. Nice card. Could have been solid if they give him a better run blocking. And Paul Worlow, another final edition. Can we get another elite card in this pack? No, we cannot. I could have. If they would have gave this guy like an 85 block, he might be the best tight end to use in this game. I like Charles Clay. And the funny thing about it, he was a fullback, which means that I don't really think that – I always say this. I don't think the guys over at EA Sports Mutt really watch football too much. I don't think they do that do at all because it doesn't really make any sense with that guy to have a low uh, blocking when he was a fullback and he had to play tight end because Dustin Keller had a season-ending injury. So not bad, though. Eric Deck, which one is this? Road to the playoff, also cheap. And Charlie Johnson's about 3,000 coins and nothing else in that pack. So let's keep going. Hopefully these packs continue to give me more elites. I like elite pack openings, especially when I'm doing commentary. I might have to pull them off. They keep being so good. I don't know. I don't want to pull them off, but I might have to if they're just so good. <laughs> you get into that pulling frenzy, and you just get nothing after a while. I keep going backwards. Reveal all and nothing else there. Elvis Dumerville. He's one of these gold cards that may range in price, so I might check his price out later on the line. But let's go ahead and get rid of this stuff right here. And nothing else. So, so far, it looks like if we do the math properly, Casey's probably about 6,000 coins. If I were to sell him, yeah, I got probably 6,000 out of Warlow. Probably right around 6,000 out of Johnson. And I got that 50K car out of Fitzgerald. 20K probably out of that Pat P collect, which might not be going for much anymore considering that everybody can get one for free if you play a solo challenge. I might make, I might be 100K off the top, which is just really nice, which is really, really nice. I can't really say anything too negative about these packs. Let me get a Daryl Smith. This is, this is an elite pack opening, Tyler Eifert. This is an elite, damn it, Deacon Jones just trolling me. Daryl Smith, he's so slow, but he's a nice coverage linebacker in zone. So, another another good pull. I'm, I'm cool pulling these pulls. I wish they were guys that were in collections, but I'll take those pulls any day of the week. Take these pulls. I might pull all these packs. I don't want to pull all these packs, but I might pull all these packs. I don't know. I might end up splitting the videos up in two because I don't want to make this super long as I already spent like 14 minutes at the beginning talking a lot so two more packs with the collection reward can we get another great pull joe hayden can we get another philip rivers uh, not much here probably another three to five to seven thousand coins he is in the charge charges collection but that collection is pretty easy to complete if you happen to really want to spend the hundred thousand coins for a quarterback that doesn't scramble but not a bad pull right there i'm going to sell him later on down the line as well i don't think anybody wants a philip rivers unless you're a charger fan but then again, you can go ahead and buy somebody cheaper as we get another elite card. Why am I pulling all these elites? They're going to reveal all. And we get this Leotis McElvin. Mc, 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 Did I say his name? McElvin. All right, we'll take that. Is this base Jason Hatcher? Yes, it is. Not going for much anymore, though. And Kerry Williams. So get ready to the rest of this stuff. But the elites are falling out of these packs crazy today. So we might just keep going. We might keep going, which might be a terrible decision. But I still got the legendary packs to open up because... Why not? The legendary packs, I'm just going to go ahead and save these. I do not want to waste them on offensive linemen. If they come out with some offensive linemen again on the next week's Outsider, I'm going to be really annoyed. All right, got the silver cards out of the way. We got this Terrence Newman. The playoff card is going for more than the gold card, which is very surprising because the playoff card is still in packs, and that pack was just... I keep pulling these low overall linebackers. <laughs> Gerald Freeman. How, that's not a bad card. They're looking at it from this aspect, like 80 speed. Like, how is it got six down overall? Anyway, all right, let's go ahead and get rid of the rest of this stuff. They just threw a rating up there, which we probably, I probably could have been campaigning a long time with these guys' ratings fixed because they just seem to not really pay attention at all to what they're doing with the ratings. All right, so if I could pull two more of these elites, I pulled uh, one more elite out of these next two packs. I'll go ahead and continue the video. If I don't, I'll go ahead and stop. So am I? And I'm not counting the collection reward pack. Kirk Cousins. Josh Morgan, Vontae Davis, base, and Kyle Wilson. I keep pulling this guy. 
I don't know, what, are you, what are you guys is uh, most common pulls out of your packs? Because I've noticed that I will pull like 15 Mark Barons. Mark Barron and Adrian Claiborne Gold seem to be the most common pulls for me in this game of Ultimate Team. I have no idea why I keep pulling those guys, but those guys seem to be super common for me. All right, last pro pack, and or all pro pack. And if I get a lead out of this one, I'll go ahead and continue opening them up. If I don't, that'll be the video. All right, come on, Elite. Oh, Shane Leckler, ah, did that count? Okay, Rob Nikovich, does that collectible count, though? Does that collectible count? I said Elite, right? I said Elite. Now I feel like I got to keep going. Now I feel like I got to keep going. We'll keep going. We'll keep going. All right, Nikovich, these packs have not been bad. They've not been good. They've not been ex like, outstanding, but they've not been bad. I'm going to keep pulling. I'm going to go ahead and keep pulling. Unfortunately, my reserves or my actives are pretty full, so I'm going to go ahead and send Nikovich to my reserves. He ain't going for much, by the way. He's going for right around seven, 8,000 coins. Nice budget card. Great block shit, though, if you guys didn't know. So if you want a good defensive end for a good cheap price, go ahead and get him. He's better than Greg Harder, which is very, very unfortunate. <laughs> we'll keep going. We'll keep going. We'll keep going. Ten more packs. I might open all these packs up. These packs have been pretty good to me. Pretty damn good. All right. We'll reveal all this one right here. And we get a seven-time All-Pro collectible from Mr. D I don't know, Dimitri Dawson. And I really know Chris Gokong. Not the NFL Chris Gokong, but I need a CJ Wilson. I need this guy. But we'll go ahead and quick show the rest of it. So I might end up doing this collection now that I just pulled this guy's card. The collection seems to be only not going to cost me as much as it once was. And Sammy Hill, uh, he, he got to go too. He's got to go. His price is like 300 coins, and there's no point selling 300 coins so you can make 20 coin profit. That just seems ridiculous. In my opinion. A lot of guys love doing that. All right, come on. Let's go. Let's go. More more inserts. More inserts. I'll take all the inserts you want to give me. Pat Sims. I need to start going forward. Owen Daniels. He's one of these cards that's a fringe, expensive player. And a nut, really, though, Ricky Deacon Jones. This is my second collectible. Damn, that's a, them odds are pretty bad. But really, though, Deacon Jones and nothing else. I'm going to quick sell Deacon Jones. No point holding on to him just so I can just throw him in my reserves for seven years until they come out with this Ricky Legend collection, which they probably never will. But these collections right here for the silver ones are probably going for right around 2,000 coins now. So if you guys can't get Pat Pete, I'd focus on getting those collections complete. I'll focus on getting those complete right now, just the main ones while they're cheap, and then try to get the other ones sometime before Thursday when they're out of packs. Manti Teo once a mother Stop giving me the rookie legend. Nine watch pay will be so so nice. Man, this card looks so nice too. The blue just it just pops. The blue just makes me feel good. It's a nice blue right there, and I keep pulling crappy blue. The crappy blue stuff. And Manti Teo playoff, that card's also cheap. I have no idea what I should do with these gold cards. I need more collections. I need more collections, but they don't want to give them to us. And I kept pulling, and now I'm regretting pulling because I'm not getting anything elite anymore. But we still got seven dairy packs. Maybe Michael Vicks in one of these seven packs. That'd be a great pull. Jason Hatcher, base once again. And Colin Kaepernick, which one is this? That is Road to the Playoff. And if this was the gold acceleration, that would be like an instant 70K. Man, these packs have not been anything great so far. Kaepernick's probably right around... Oh, I need his Smith, though. I need his Evan Dietrich Smith. Okay, never mind. Not bad. He's like 4,000 coins. I wanted to sell him, so there's some good value out of these packs. It's not anything red or blue. That's good blue, but it's still not bad. All right, Colin Kaepernick. I'm probably going to go ahead and sell him. I'm not going to be keeping that guy on my bench. Jamaica Stanford might be going for the coins as well. It's funny because you see all these silver cards are cheap now because it's so hard to pull elites. So if you want that Adrian Peterson, you got to pay 150 for Jared Allen because he's so hard to pull. Another... Paul Fenenka. This has been a Cardinals pack opening, it seemed like. And nothing else there. Demario David's one of the cards also going for a little bit of coins. So, eh, silver cards I'm pulling are pretty... They're, they're, they're in between value-wise. They're either between 3,000 and 5,000 coins, or they're super, super cheap. Base Brandon LaFell's also not going for anything as well, and neither is Dante Hightower. Can I pull that base Brandon Spikes? That'll be a good pull. No, my reserves are full. No, I'll be right back. All right, so I probably did not make enough room. I think I'm going to have to spend the entire day sometime in the near future sending all my bronze cards to my farm account so I can just hold off over this. My farm account is kind of my storage account where I put all my stuff at because this game is kind of annoying. So I think I might end the video right here on five all pro packs over this last collection reward pack because I do not want to run out of room. Hopefully this pack is pretty nice. We'll be out of this pack right here. We get a Trent Cole playoff, road to the playoff. Actually, I'm going to keep going. <laughs> I'm going to go ahead and keep going, maybe. I don't know. We'll see. We'll see. 
Five packs. I might have to quick sell everything out of this pack, but anything anything ain't good. Justin Tuck ain't going for much either way. He used to go for like three seventeen thousand coins. Now he's super cheap. And Rob Chajinski and nothing else there. Another Thomas Davis. Man, this is so not even right with the reserve limits. Why do they have this on both consoles? I feel like they just give you all these packs and nothing to do with them. They just basically want you to quick sell everything. Then all of a sudden, four weeks from now, they come out with a collection where that guy you need is in it. Oh, I don't know what to do. I don't know what to do. I'm around the room real quick. All right, come on. Maybe I can squeeze out these last couple. Dewan Landry. Come on, Dewan Landry. Turn into an elite card. Elite! Mother! Why am I keep pulling packs? Why do I keep getting these rookie legends? Man. All right, Dewan Landry. Uh, Bruce Carter. Fox. I'm going to get rid of this. Get rid of everything. Philip Adams. Is he in the collection? I don't even know. Let's get rid of this stuff right here. And how many? Oh, I got four cards. Can I get another pack? Can I get three more? Can I get three more out of this video? Can I get all 20 in one video? Peterson tackle. Also not going for much, by the way. And nothing else there. Tyvon Brand, Star Louis Tillet. Base, I'm going to get rid of that right there. This playbook usually goes for a decent amount. I might go ahead and post that right now. I usually throw them for 1,500 coins, and it sells pretty pretty quickly. And get rid of this case in. I uh, wish I could send cards to my pending collection from here. <laughs> That'd be so much more convenient. All right, start loot to lay. We're going to post this play for 1,500 coins. And if you guys are still watching the video, I appreciate it. Thumbs up the video. Hopefully, your packs are just as pretty good as mine. They've ended pretty poorly. They started off strong, which kind of influenced me to keep going. But they ended pretty, pretty badly. I can't lie about that. I haven't got anything really that's going for like more than probably 10,000 coins, it seems like. Antoine Kaysen, Mark Ingram, and come on. Can I get the rest of these packs? Can I get the rest of them? No, I cannot. I'll figure this out. Okay, so I think I made enough room for these last couple of packs. If not, it's going to be another one of these awkward transitions. And hopefully it's not an awkward transition if I have enough room my reserves. If we get a combine, Pat P, he's not going for much anymore. I'm, I might hold on to him. I keep getting these silver collectibles, and I need to get a gold one. A gold one will make this video over the top. Jonathan Joseph, also pretty cheap. Another William Gay. Might have told that guy immediately. And Ashley Palmer. Palmer. I don't know why I got stuck in his name. I wanted to say something else. All right. Go ahead and send this, this, and this to a quick sell. And I think I might just, I don't know, my Pat Pete to the trade block, I guess. <laughs> Bat feed to the trade block. Man, this pack going to start off so strong. Start off so promising, and it ended pretty poorly, I must say. Still got one pack, though. Still got one pack, and I think I can go ahead and send these two to our act because they're collectibles. And I can send the rest to reserves and get this last pack popping. Hopefully that happens. Hopefully if it does, I don't want to make another video. I don't want to make another edit. No, no more edits. No more. Yes. Last pack. We're going to go one at one at on this pack. One on one. At a time. Let's go side by side. Let's see what we got out of this pack. Head coach, Gary Kubiak. Sean Hill. Why is this guy so... Get out of here. Brandon Graham. Offensive playbook. So these last three should be my golds. And probably another bronze card. Cole Misi. If that was base, I was going to be mad. Chase Blackburn base and Doug Martin. And Steve Hutchinson Pro Bowl collectible. Okay. We'll take that collectible. Man, these pack openings start off so good. Start off really strong. And it petered out towards the end. That is unfortunate. But hey. It's not bad. I think I might have made back at least 200k. If that's 200k sounds about right. 200k sounds about right. If I if I do the math properly and everything sells for I think it can sell for silver cards going for a lot of coins. The ones that I don't have, I will be able to go ahead and complete the collections for, so I can get more collection reward packs for you guys. And here's my trade block pretty much of what I pulled. We got this. Larry Fitzgerald, which was the main pool. I got all these elites. This gold collect about 20,000 coins. Uh, elites, I counted. I got to combine probably right around, what is it, 13 elites all together, which is really, really nice. So hopefully this Larry Fitzgerald is going for more than I think it is. I think it's going for 50K. If it's going for like 35K, my, my total might be come, come down. But this was a pretty, the first 10 were great. The last, last couple were eh. So this is the first 10 were really, really strong. Anyway, folks, that is the video. I hope you guys have enjoyed my 20 all pro pack golden. Be sure to like the video. These pack openings are very expensive, so I need you guys to like the video, share it with your friends, and show everybody about it because it wasn't cheap doing this for you guys. But anyway, folks, I'm the Texas boy. I'm out of this mother bleeper. Peace.